holy shit, you know how much fun it would be to come here in the middle of the night if I had a headlight? Or if I lived like 30 miles away and I had just discovered this place? Oh my god, there'd be some good ground to ride on. It'd be hard not to tear it up. How long do you think they'd lock me up for doing that? For trespassing and riding on a public golf course. I bet they wouldn't take too kindly to that. Porsche Cayenne towing the John Deere. I'm sure I did not catch it on camera. The Porsche Cayenne towing the John Deere. But that's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Oh my God, you could get lost out here so easy. I'm on, I'm totally trespassing on some logging road and it's got branches off everywhere that don't necessarily loop around. They lead off to other roads. I've been going straight because I'm scared I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> but I so wanna go exploring. If I had a buddy with me, I was 20 years younger and I felt a little bit more confident. Maybe I had a weapon or something, but yeah, I think I'm probably about to get out of here because I'm getting a little stuck there.
what we have here is a failure to communicate. All right, I do believe I need a new pressure tank as my well has been leaking regularly for over a month now, but I have refused to do anything about it, even though it's bad for the pump, and even though a pump costs a thousand dollars to have it pulled and replaced, uh, had that done about four years ago. So even with the pump being, you know, actively abused, it's probably still fine. Um, and plus, I didn't have the money. I didn't have the money because I was saving up for a motorcycle, and I mean, it's a poor excuse, right? Water is probably more important than a motorcycle in some people's lives, but apparently not in mine. So, uh, guess I'll be attempting to get in here. We're doing good. We got 90 degrees. Oh, humidity's actually dropped significantly. 27% humidity, but that's what's kind of hurting. That 52, 52 degree dew point, it's actually dropping too. It's not as muggy and it is just more hot now. Not quite as sticky as it was most of the day. But nonetheless, I digressed. We got our well tank here. I set off a bug bomb before I left in here to hopefully take care of any spiders or anything that are hanging out because there are all kinds of black widow webs all over this bad boy and I'm going to be in the thick of it. The tank I bought is way bigger, way bigger than one that I'm taking out of there. But there weren't a lot of options. I didn't consider that at all. I hope it's not going to be too tall. No, I think it'll be all right. The old water worker. All right, I need to get some things. That goes there. I probably should have given this book a read. But I imagine just popping out the old one and putting in the new one. Ew. Well, that's not going to work. I just had to cut a... Okay, so apparently the tank's going to be full of water right now. And that's why... That's why this picture... Want to be by this T-valve... With this spigot. That way you can... Run a spigot off to one side. Hook a hose to and drain it out like that. But we are, uh, we're going to do no such thing. We're just going to run her straight. The way she's been for 20 years. I still cannot find my mini hacksaw. What's up, 12? I have been looking for my mini hacksaw. Well, I haven't, like, been looking for it. I looked for it the other day. Because I needed it. Well, I didn't need it, but I thought I might potentially need it. So I was looking for it. In advance of a project I was, I was working on and I never could find it. So I got by without it. You know, I think it was actually when I was putting the sheet metal on. Um, okay. I might have had a lot of the shit I already needed. Looks like I did have most of it. Got a measuring tape. I've been needing one. The only, the only good one I have that's not that didn't hadn't broke I don't think I've ever actually bought one uh, besides this one while well, I had my big one for you know for like a hundred feet this is not like a measuring tape it's more like a measuring you know it's the one you wind up but uh see I got this one this was like I think this was $18 and they had a nice nice metal rigid one full size like my husky there but that was 50 goddamn dollars. I couldn't bring myself to spend that. Let's see if this is worth a damn. Oh God, that's kind of garbage, but fuck it, we'll try it. Probably not be able to see nothing here. There's a 
water that we knew was going to come out. Uh oh, get that maybe leaking off in the ground there. So yeah, that'd be the benefit of uh, of having something with a hose. About ready to pull this insulation down and redo it all. I mean, most of it's already coming down. Now that I got sheet metal on, no water will get inside. It should stay up. I got that one roll left that's probably still good. I probably just need to redo the rest. I gotta fill my whole thing here with water. Better than that, throw my back out there. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna hurt myself if I try to get that out. I could start this though. Oh, that tank's getting hot quick in the sun. Oh my gracious me. I'm gonna try to get this fish in the shadow a little bit. Holy. Okay. Totally did have one. And had enough, well, no, that's not the right size pipe. Definitely a good idea of putting tape all over this. You know, it'd be good if I didn't have my sunglasses on. That'd be good. Okay, let's try to cut this a little bit more even if we can. <clears throat> well, that might be a little bit better. That's gonna cast iron, so we shouldn't be able to fuck it up. I think that's gonna be good. God damn, that seems fucking. Pretty freaking secure to me. Oh, look at that. How convenient I have a handy tape measure here. Post me something. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. Oh yeah, that's so much fucking lighter. Without the water in it. Oh. Look at that. Just tall enough and not too tall. Okay, and then I need about 11 and a half. 11 and a half with the coupling.
Okay, that should be all there is to it. I'm gonna read and make sure this thing is pre-charged and everything. I believe it is. Whew. Okay, 15 minutes. Then I can do a pressure test. And then gotta wait a couple hours after that. Okay, it's been two hours, almost two hours. We gotta flip back on. I don't see any leaks there. That's a good sign. Got the water on inside. Make sure I get all the air out here. Okay, we've gotten the air out of the lines. I'll run this one in the back, make sure it's out of there too. I'll get all the insides. Still no leaks in the pump house. I still think I'm gonna throw a valve on here. Because I'm not totally convinced that that's also not the problem. But I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Just cut this pipe, throw a back check valve on, I'm gonna have to reroute me have to do a little bit of a, yeah. I'm gonna take a look at this gauge for a minute, see if we're constantly falling or not. If we are, then we definitely got a leak somewhere. <sighs> get a pressure gauge. Okay, the pressure tank. Pressure tank was actually too high. It was at 44 PSI. My pressure switch kicks on at 40, which means my tank needs to be at 38, which it is now. I can still see my water just pouring the fuck out of there, though. So, yeah, tomorrow it'll be check valve time, and then... And if that doesn't fix it, it's just going to have to keep on leaking for a few weeks until we have the money, because the old lady really wants to get her Buick in and get it fixed, and that's going to be two grand at least, probably. Okay, we don't have much battery left. Are you coming outside? You don't want to, it's hot. You're just gonna wanna go back inside. We're not going to do anything. I know you think we're going on an adventure, but we're not, no adventures for you. Okay, so I got the new tank in. Water's still leaking down there. I'm gonna throw a check valve in there. But also I'm having issues with my water. Like it's not even doing what it's supposed to be doing. So it's like I'm losing I'm losing, not pressure, but it's just, it's cutting off. Well, that can't be right. Thirty-eight point one. Thirty-eight. Okay. So we're definitely good there now. Now, while I got it off, I think I'm going to go ahead and change out, change out my my pressure relief valve down there back to a back to a seventy-five which is what it used to be. And also go ahead and throw in this check relief valve. Oh, I mean this check valve. Another check relief valve.
I had a cord long enough, I'd bring the shop back down here and suck up this fucking water. Oh, that's a good glove. That's a good glove. Okay, I'll probably see if I have a brand new 75. I hate to keep on throwing these away when they're likely perfectly good. I mean, honestly, I'm not even truly convinced that I shouldn't leave a hundred on there. So I can't remember if I did or did not make a video about it, but uh, yesterday, as I'm like, you know, trying to motivate myself to go to the store to get the parts I need to actually fix the plumbing. So yeah, I went to, I'm thinking and I'm like, let me just check this thing one more time. Make sure I put the back check valve on, the back flow check valve on in the right position. Even though I'd already checked it three times. Well, I go to look again and I'm like, oh, idiot. This big metal thing coming out of the ground is the thing connected to the well pump at the bottom. That's the top of your well pump. The pipe coming out of the ground is the pipe going up here that's leading to your house. So obviously I had the freaking check valve in the wrong direction. So I had to cut off that and then go to town and buy new ones. And they didn't have the slip-ons, they only had thread-ons, which I'm not a fan on, fan of. And plus they were like $5 more, but I didn't, it, I didn't want to drive 30 miles and go get different ones. So uh, I, I opted for that. Well, pressure test, got everything put back together yesterday, got the pressure test. And then I was leaking on the downspout coming out of the grounds, a pipe that I hadn't actually fucked with. I mean, I cut, but that must have been already leaking. That must have already had a hairline crack, which is why my whole area was filled with water underneath. You know, I know it was like I got a lake where my outshoot pipe goes, my pressure relief valve, but there was a bunch of water inside. And when I first had opened it up, I was like, what's all this? Because there was a hairline crack. I should have put two and two together, but I didn't. So anyway, I cut that this morning, I fixed that, did a pressure test, it looks like we're good there, but that stupid thread connection for that back check valve is leaking. So now I'm off to the big town to get the slip-ons, and I gotta cut that and redo all, everything I just put on yesterday, I gotta redo all that today, or yesterday, or, yeah, so I gotta go spend another fucking 40 bucks, because I've used all my, oh, y'all aren't attached to anything, y'all are just sitting on the dash. This way. I've used all my extra. I've used all my extra parts now, so I need to. Uh, I need to resupply. And then I went ahead and bought an extra electrical box uh, at Lowe's yesterday when I wasn't sure. And now it's an extra. I bought one at Lowe's yesterday when I wasn't sure what the problem was going to be. Before I realized, I'm like, oh no, it's not a power issue, you idiot. Because water is coming out of the relief valve. It's a fucking backwards check valve issue. But already the boxes are like 80 bucks and I'll just get it and I'll put it in the cabinet. Um, so I already ordered it. And uh, that way when this one does go out, I'll have one on hand. And it's the same model. The way these work, you just pop off the front and the, the front part, the top part, is the part where all the transistors and capacitors are connected. So if you have the same model, you can literally just pop off the front, pop off and pop on a new front. Easier, you don't have to rewire everything. So probably couldn't hear any of that on account of the the S10 and this is the GoPro but I quit I sure update update oh my goodness I do believe we might have got it worked out but there's all the rebuild there and I'm a little high I'm a little high on my up pipe so I've got I've got this one at a, at a slight slight bit of a bit of a cattywampus but I don't think there's too much stress on it so I think it'll probably be all right um, there's all the remnants my insulation that's falling off and all the damn brand new pieces that's all brand new shit right there that was on for about 20 minutes <laughs> i mean a little bit more but good god so now we're just waiting now we're just waiting so 
hopefully there'll be no leaks this time and hopefully we'll be golden because i don't want to do this a third time i mean i guess technically actually this was a third time because uh that must be a mud dauber getting some mud probably didn't even sock it but yeah that's what all that water was there from i mean it's there from i cut the pipe and replaced it but there was just when i initially took it off there was water there and after i put all this back together it was actually you know this is the new piece that i just put on i mean this is all this is everything i just put on just now but yesterday this piece was added into that shit that's on the ground that was right here and then there was an old joint old coupling just like right here and that's what was leaking so let's see i guess it would have been this one i don't remember if it was the top or the bottom but one of those was leaking so all right just gotta wait okay well as you can likely tell we are full of water on account of our little our little bubbling leak i don't know if we can see any bubbles because it's definitely below the surface and it's pretty full of water there's less full of water you can see bubbles well the water's off so what am i thinking we're definitely not going to see bubbles anymore even if there were some so i'm an idiot and uh let's get started so i've got the cord i went and bought two 100 foot extended cords because i only had one plus some shorter ones so now i got 300 feet with an extended cord coming down here and i'm plugging the shot back suck out the water try to dig down to where I think the leak might be, turn the water back on, determine exactly where the leak is, hopefully fix it, hopefully get all this stuff back in store today. See what happens. <laughs> right. I just realized y'all can't see anything from this angle. I can't go hacking at it with anything because there's electrical cords in there, right? I'm gonna have a hard time adjusting y'all came covered in mud. Hopefully y'all aren't too cattywampus. But yeah, there's electrical cords that go down to the pump and that go up to, to go up to the house. I don't have a clue how they would actually do this. Maybe they just come in with a machine and rip everything out and then rebuild it. I don't fucking know. I ain't spending that kind of money. Hopefully that's it. I'll turn back water, flush it out. I'll clean up a little bit. Get to work. You would be concerned. You can definitely see the leak now. I didn't know any better. It looks like there's one up top too. But surely that's not the case. I just replaced all that. sure whether or not I set it on camera earlier I mean either way if I did I probably bleaked it out because I tend to do all that in time-lapse stuff and I just forget when I say little say little audio quips or whatever but where I cut into the old pipe the pipe that's been on the ground for 25 years uh, you know it's brittle so it just breaks apart and then when I went to uh, PVC underground last anywhere from 25 to 40 years it's been 25 it's been 27 actually and well it's been 25 but anyway, so where the coupling, where my new coupling went on my old pipe, it just went on like slipping onto a greased pig. And uh, that's not the term I used earlier, but I'm trying to keep it PG. But, uh, you know, typically with modern PVC, you know, even just putting fittings together, they have such a compression fit that it's hard to get them apart. That's before you even glued. Well, sure enough, 
where the new coupling is meeting the old pipe right there you can see we've got some seepage so I'm gonna research and see if there's anything I can do but uh, right now it's just gonna have to stay on and leak and I'm not sure I'm fucking with it for another week or so because I've literally been doing nothing but I mean, I've done some other stuff and doing some motorcycle riding and whatnot but I've been neglecting all the other shit I need to do for three straight days I've been doing nothing but well stuff for three days solid, replacing every damn thing there is to replace just about. Mm -hmm.